Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here, and welcome to this week's Mixed Media Soul Sparks. Every week I try and bring you some new ideas for mixed media, painting, inspiration, and studio tips and tricks. Today I'm going to be working with creative paper clay, and this is an air dry clay that you can take and shape, and probably a lot of you have been working with this with either yourself or with kids and you just get a piece of it out and it has the consistency of clay but it's an air dry clay you don't need to fire it and what you can do is if it dries out you can rehydrate it and condition it again and by conditioning it you're just kind of squeezing it back and forth just like you would condition any clay you also want to kind of keep it covered so it doesn't dry out. And I like to do this just for a few seconds and make sure that it's ready to go. And I'm going to be showing you how to emboss textures into it and create shapes. And next week I'll show you how to finish it. So let me give you a few tips on getting this out to a flat surface. And this is just a piece of plastic. And I've kind of flattened it out a bit. And I'm going to use my brayer. Let's just flatten it more. Kind of like um, making pie crust or something. You want to get it flat and get it thin enough. see if that's about right. I don't want it so thin that it's like hard to get off of the, the plastic, but I don't want it so thick either. It's a little Goldilocks thing. So now I'm just going to press it onto this texture plate and I can even put the plastic back over it. Lightly use my brayer. I don't want to press it down in there too hard because I won't be able to get it out. So let's take a look at it. I could maybe go a little more. It was easy enough to peel off. So I'm going to give it a little more pressure. And let's try that again. Yeah. Oops, see what happened? It's stuck there. That's where it was so thin. So I can just peel that off. This is, I saved the little pieces and I can go back in and I can rehydrate that. But this is going to take a while to dry. And I like to put it on, I don't want to leave it on paper because it might stick to the paper. So if I put it on the plastic, I let it dry for a while and then I come back and I flip it over and I let that dry. Depending on how thick or thin, it's going to depend on how long it takes to dry. Also depending on temperature and humidity. So it'll take at least a day. So let me just show you some things I've already done. Now this is one that I did the same thing, but this is actually a, a fabric that has an embossed texture on it. So you would do it the same way as you did with this. It's just going to be a more subtle uh, pattern, as you can see, because it's not as deep. But do you see how it's kind of curved? It's not flat. So that happens when it dries. So here's what you can do, is you lightly mist it, because remember I said you can rehydrate this. I'm only spraying it on the side that doesn't have the pattern. And then I'm just going to put it there and let that soak in for a minute. I don't want it so wet to where the clay is pliable like it initially was, but I want it to soften a bit to where I will be able to flatten this out. Now I notice that it happens more with the thinner layers. This one was a little thicker. It still has a little bit of warping. And I made it over this whole rectangular shape here. But then when it's still wet, I just use a craft knife and I cut it out while it was still wet. Now, you could do it after it's dry. It's just a little harder. You would have to saw it. So it's just much easier to do it when it's wet. 
even here, if you see areas that you know need a little work, you can take like a, a you know piece of sandpaper or an even an emery board. You can drill these. You can do a lot of stuff with this. But those are the shapes. I'm going to spray a little more water. This could take some time, so I'll keep working on it. And this is a. It's like a casting piece. It's, you can buy these. You can make your own cast too. But what I do is I make the clay a bit thicker and then I pressed it into here. And then I was able to peel it off just like this one over here. And I would just use my knife. So let me just show you. I would just come along in here and cut out whatever shape I want it while it's still wet. Can reshape it. And that's what I did with the feather. It was just a little thicker, so you can see how thick these are. So you can make these three dimensional objects, which brings me to this next one. And I've kept it wrapped up, but I'll show you what I did. Just a regular piece of foil. And I take it and I made it into a ball. And then I took my clay and I wrapped it around that ball. And I can still shape this. I could even carve a face into it. I can press some pieces of wire. This was some copper wire that I just cut some small pieces. I've done it with, um, I like telephone wire because it's got all those different colors on it. And you have to do this when the clay is still wet. Come on. Oops. <laughs> well, if you can, there we go. And just press it in. And actually, if you make them a little longer and press it into the foil, it'll help hold them into place. But this can make a, a dimensional object. You could use a wire armature to build these things. But let me show you my favorite thing that I was working with. And this is corrugated cardboard. And I've taken, if you can see this piece, I'm going to show you really quickly how I did this. I'm going to use a smaller piece of cardboard. So just grab a piece of clay. It's already been conditioned, so it doesn't take much longer. And I probably don't need this much, but you don't have to roll it out. You can even shape it with your hands. And then I'm just going to press it into the paper. And I'm almost using the uh, cardboard as a substrate to hold it. I don't necessarily have to go along with the ridges in the cardboard. But let's just say if I did, let me take this plastic back over here and press this down. Now I'm going to be able to see some of that cardboard underneath there. And what I did here is I took some little beads and I'm just going to use this to start to press in shapes. And even if it pulls up, I might see that cardboard underneath, which could be very interesting. Pressing in more shapes, carving in. These are little beads, little micro beads. It's even got a little shaker top. So I just sprinkle some of those on, press them down in. And if you remember uh, some of the glass beads from our other weeks, session I had pressed into there and this is all going to dry and next week I'm going to show you how to paint these and I'll show you this when I get it flat and it's just a matter of keep putting some water on it and pressing it down. So all kinds of clay shapes, dimensional objects, textures, 
cut them and look at the pieces you can layer into your paintings and you're going to have so much fun with these. You can even drill holes in it and at attach other things. So join me next week when we see how we can finish these. And if you like the video, click like, share it, take a look at the Awakening Your Creative Soul website, and I'll see you next week. Join the community and share your creations on social. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section.